Here's a clip from Tara Buster with Tara Devlin. Of course, you fight for those who are lacking human rights. This is why I'm fighting for immigrants, even though I'm native born. The whole Bernie, us, uh, mean, what is it? I almost said me, not us. Uh, not me, us. That whole not me, us paradigm shift that we need in this country if the coronavirus doesn't say that's exactly what we need i don't know what does not me us that's for sure we are in this together but this is what the democratic party is is now pretending they're fighting for that's it not real economic Security, not a living living wage and retirement security and union security and worker working class that actually works. But no, no, they're fighting so you can go to the bathroom of your choice. Okay, that's all great, but that's not it. And this is why the right-wingers that Twitler can get the white working class to vote for him because he's the one, like Chris Hedges is saying, who is reviling the elite, albeit uh, it's nothing but a con. He's conning the, the dumbasses who cheer him. He th- they really think we're leaving no one behind. That's what he talks about, the forgotten man and woman. But all of these things that I wrote, that I'm reading here, that Chris Hedges wrote, is exactly the, the reasons why Joe Biden will lose. He's the weaker candidate. I don't want a repeat of 2016. I don't want to have to deal with it. Do you want to wake up the day after Election Day again like you woke up in 2016? Like realizing how stupid and racist this country is? How horrible it is. And, and because you're not a dumbass and you understand history, I'm sure, like you, like me, we all looked around and was like, of course, only in a system that isn't working for the majority of people can an autocrat rise and take hold. It's the way it always happens. This is why we study history. It's not like, you know, this hasn't happened before. In a functioning system that works for all, a, an autocrat, a dumbass, especially like, like Trump, riding in this so-called populist wave, pretending to be fighting for you, the, the people would see him for the fraud that he is. Because they're too, they're too busy being happy and productive, not having to scrape and struggle, not having to work their three uniquely American low-paying jobs, to not have the same retirement security uh, as the boomers who are voting for Biden. They, they would look at him like the clown that he is. Not like the savior who... At least we could shake things up. If things are working, if the government is working for the people, if it's if the representatives are truly representing the people, you don't want to throw a Molotov cocktail into the gears and say, I'm going to shake things up. Because that's another thing that people said who voted for Trump. We need to shake things up. Yeah, by taking a big dump. You know, like when you want to shake things up. When you're at your whatever, any any, and uh, you you go to someone's wedding, you want to shake things up. The, take a big shit in the middle of the room. You can shake things up. That's what they did. They took a real. They went to the halls of power and they took a gigantic dump to shake it up. A gigantic orange dump. That's only because of everything we talk about on the show. Because the American working class is now the, the working poor is what they, what, what they call the middle class. And the, the, the elites, the political class, 
They talk about the donor class. And then they talk about the work. They, they don't talk about the working class. They talk about the middle class. Because we're all supposed to be confused. Now, if you ask, and many of us are confused, because if you ask people who work for a living, are you in the middle class? They'll say yes. Most of them will say yes. Meanwhile, the real, the middle class, we know, is now below 50% of the population for the first time since the first Gilded Age. So we're in big trouble. And Trump is that sign, that red sign beating, that blinking sign, warning sign, warning, warning, warning. And to have Joe Biden get up there and say, Trump is the aberration. That it's not the Republicans, it's not the system. And it pisses me off, too, when you have um, Barack Obama saying the same thing. Oh, the American people don't want a revolution. Really? That's because if they don't want a revolution, then they haven't been paying attention. Then they're living in the policies that FDR's revolution made possible. And they're not... They don't feel the sting of the lash of the policies. But they will. Eventually. We we all, because we're feeling it. And that's what they did to Trump. They threw Trump in there. That's the only thing they could do. Obviously, nobody's listening. So, they threw here. Here, take this big, giant, disgusting con man. Terra Buster is recorded live every Saturday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern at the RDT Daily Facebook and YouTube channels and rebroadcast on Sunday from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern on Progressive Voices or anytime on demand on the Progressive Voices app.